Hey, where do these stairs go? They go up. Hey everybody, we're back again. We're gonna build um, stairs in this Blender quick tutorial. And uh, it's kind of a procedure. And uh, it doesn't use plugins or the array modifier. It is just straight up modeling. So here we go. First thing we have to do is, you know what? I think we'll keep the default cube. So, but we do have to move it up a notch. Let's uh, G Z one enter, and that will move it up to the ground plane, and we'll just leave it there. We're gonna use this cube. Basically, we're gonna make our stairs go from the floor level to this edge here. So what we'll do is we'll select the cube, we'll tab into edit mode, we'll select this corner point and then we'll shift D which will duplicate it there's our extra point and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna separate it and make it a new object by hitting P and then hit selection so now tab back out of edit mode so now we have cube and cube 001 so what we're gonna do is we're gonna select the 001 cube and what we'll do is we'll hit one on the numeric keyboard. Actually, let's hit three. That will give us our X view. So now what we're gonna do is we are gonna go back into edit mode with this object selected. Hit tab key. We could just hit A, it'll select all the vertices and there's only one. So and now we're gonna extrude it and just pull it down to the ground floor. And this will basically be our staircase. Um, that looks about right, I'm just eyeballing it. So now select the other point, and here's the neat trick. You right click with the mouse and hit subdivide, and then down here, we could just type in a number like eight. And that will give us basically points along this uh, segment or edge. And that'll be like the number of stairs that we'll have. Maybe we'll do seven. All right, let's do seven. All right, so now we have that. Now what we're going to do is select everything with A. We're going to hit X. And then we're going to basically delete edges and faces. And then that will just give us points. So we're going to use these points in a second. If you hit control and then right mouse button, you can lasso those points. We're going to hit E to extrude and then we're going to hit Y. And Y will give us that direction. And what we want to do is we want to extrude these just a little bit beyond that face of that cube there. Just to give us a little extra room. Now we're gonna select, could do again with um, lasso. Just select all of those points. And then we're gonna extrude again in the Z direction and this will give us our treads. And uh, however thick you think they should be. So I'm just gonna make them like that. All right, so that's the tread kind of profile. So now what we're gonna do is we wanna take these two points and we want to connect them with a by hitting F and that will make an edge and then uh, for the heck of it I'm gonna make a, a new part out of that so I'm gonna hit P selection and now we have a, a part that is just that edge so we will take we'll go to three again and what we're gonna do is go into edit mode Basically, if you hit one, two, and three, it will toggle between, of course now it's not doing it. It will toggle between these um, 
basically vertex edge and face. So we're just gonna hit edge and we are gonna extrude that on Y and we're gonna go about that far and that will be what's called the stringer of a staircase. So now we have that and what we could do is we can just grab it now and let's extrude it on X which it will do automatically because that's the way the normal is facing of that face. So there's our stringer. Now let's go into wireframe mode by hitting Z and we'll hit wireframe. So we'll tab out of that object and then we'll select to get out of edit mode. And now we will tab into edit mode for the treads. A to select, E to extrude, however far you think they should go. And um, double A to deselect everything. So now we can tab out, go back into this one. We can tab into edit mode, select everything with A. And then we could do this, we could do shift D and then hit X and that will basically make a copy and we'll slide it over. I'm just gonna place it where I think it should go there. That's probably right. I'm gonna look down from the top and get an idea of how far over it should go. I'm just gonna put it right there. So now we have basically a staircase, but uh, we're gonna tweak it a little bit to, to make it look nicer. Um, so what we could do, we can go out of edit mode by hitting tab, grab our treads and our stringers, and we could just hit control J, that will make them one piece. And here's a neat trick, we're gonna center this on X. So what we wanna do is tab into edit mode, select everything by hitting A. Now if you notice up here where it says median, if we set this to zero, it will center our staircase. So we're gonna tab back out. And there is our stairs. Um, we could even go a little bit farther with this. If you notice, this is kind of a tripping hazard down here and up here, it's cutting right into the cube. If you don't wanna do that, we could do this. Um, go into wireframe mode and go into edit mode. And I think what we'll do is we'll select this one and hide it so we don't mess it up. So we're gonna hit uh, the knife tool, which is if you hit K, that is the hotkey for knife. So now also hit, if you look down the bottom, all the way down here, there's a whole bunch of um, commands that you can, like a bunch of different settings. So we wanna actually turn on cut through and angle constraints. So those are A and C. So if we turn on, if we hit A, C, while we're in knife mode, we could put a point up here and see how it locks it to, you know, 45 or whatever this is. I guess this would be 30. So basically if you go straight up and down and then hit again and then hit enter. So now what happens is it puts a cut through both of those. And here's a, we'll do the, uh, the bottom one too. And we'll K, A, C. We'll just pick like here. We'll go down, click with the left mouse button and then hit enter and that will make it happen. All right, so now here's a fun little trick. You do it right here. See, we're in face mode. If we circle, lasso select those points right there, that will basically select all of these faces. Now here's a neat little trick, if you just hit F to make a face, 
it will basically get rid of all those extra polygons we don't want and just make a face on the ends. So we'll do the same thing up here. Just select all of those, hit F, and there you have it. All right, so now we have a nice set of stairs. And I forgot to go into, let's see what we want to do here. I turn on the cavity and shadow just to make it look neat. And it looks like um, there is some issues. See how it's dark on top of the stringers? That's telling you that there's problems with the surface normals. So what you do is you select that object, go into tab, into edit mode, select everything, and then what you do is you hit Shift N, and that will recalculate the normal. See how it looks different now? So now it looks like a real, um, you know, it looks normal. So that's a way to make stairs. I mean, you can take it a little bit farther if we want. We could try to make a railing for it for both sides. So maybe we'll do that now. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to select both of these faces. Shift D makes a copy. Hit P, selection, and that will make a new object. Tab out of, out of edit mode. Select that new object. And we're going to GZ to move it up. However high we think. Probably a little bit higher. And if we want, we could do Control A and just apply all transforms, and that will kind of lock it in place so everything zero it out. And we'll tab into edit mode. We're in the face. Select, so we'll select this one and this one, and we'll go to three. And we will extrude it. That's actually my drink making that noise. So we extruded it down. Now we have some handrails. Uh, you can see it has that same problem again where it's dark where it shouldn't be. Um, so we are going to select A, Shift N, and then that will recalculate the normals again. So now we have uh, our railing. We'll get out of edit mode. And we can even go another step farther. We'll select, we could just take, steal an edge from this model. So we're in edit mode now. We're gonna grab this edge here. We're gonna duplicate it. Right click. If you right click after you duplicate something, it's still there but it will reset the motion or the position if you moved it. It'll just snap it back to where it was. So we're gonna hit P, selection, that makes a new object. Tab out of edit mode, to go back to object mode. So now we're gonna select this edge that we just made, which is a new object over there. So now what we need is, we need more points along this. So we're gonna do the same thing we did before. We're gonna go into edit mode, select this edge, um, and then we're gonna right click, subdivide, and this could be like 12 or something. We want um, a bunch of points on there. Actually, maybe 14. Let's try that. So now we have a bunch of points, and these are gonna be the vertical, um, I think they're called balusters. Um, so what we could do is, let's hit X, let's delete edges and faces again, so we just have points. Um, so now we're going to select, I'm not going to select the first one down there because you don't really need one down there. Alright, so let's do that. We selected those. We're going to look from the side. We're going to extrude on Z just up to 
about there, I guess. And then what we'll do is we'll select these and we'll just GZ to go down. Because these are just going to go along the side. This is almost like a deck stairway. Um, so we're going to, we don't need that point anymore, so we're going to delete it. All right, we're going to lasso select. What do we want to do? Let's let's just select everything. We're going to extrude on Y, and that will go that way. About that far. So now we have a bunch of faces. We're going to go to face mode, and we are going to extrude that way. And then what we could do is, hopefully those are, eh, they're probably wide enough. All right, so let's, now these are, I think they're in a good position. It looks like they're right up against the um, stringer. So what we'll do is, here's a little trick you could do. If you're not sure, if you wanna just mirror this over, it's probably the long way to do it, but I'm gonna do it anyway. All right, the, um, 3D cursor, we're gonna use that as a reference. So it's already centered at the world, but if you, if it's not, a uh, way to do it is to do Shift S and say cursor to world origin, and it will put it right there. So we are still in edit mode, so we're gonna hit A to select everything. We're gonna hit Shift D, so now we have a copy. Right click to make it snap back to where it was. Now. We're going to scale it on X with a negative one. So we hit S, X, negative one. Enter. Now the problem is when you do that, it flips the normals inside out. Um, so we're going to hit Shift N. Actually, it's a good, um, it's a good thing to do where you select everything and just hit Shift N. See, it looks like it fixed them all anyway. So it's, it's a good practice to do that. Sorry, right, so the... Those are done. Now we're gonna go back to the handrail because that's not really where we want it to be. Um, I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna turn on symmetry on X and I'm gonna select, let's see if this works. Yep, it does. All right, so I selected just one side. I'm gonna hit G for grab, X for move, and we're just gonna move it over. And if we wanna really get precise, we can look to, at it from above go into wireframe after you hit Z and now we're gonna grab it and hit X and just kind of center it a little bit better all right so I'm going to turn off uh, symmetry tab out of edit mode go back to um, object mode and there's our stairs and if we want to if we want to we can grab all of this and hit control J to make it all one object. And that's how you, that's kind of a procedure on how to build a staircase from when you already have, you know, where you want it to go to and where you want it to start from. Um, and I'll do one more thing, just uh, just to neaten it up a little bit. I'll go into uh, wireframe mode and I'm gonna grab the end there. So it's a little, it's probably a little too long. So here's a cool thing. If you hit this move uh, tool and if you have to turn this off though, let's go to bounding. Now notice these arrows, you know, if you move it that way, that's obviously not the right way to go. So one thing you could do is turn on normal and it will give you kind of a new set of arrows and it basically lines it up to the current selection. So it happens to be a face. Um, so it basically gives you a nice way to move it as one option. And I think I went back to global. I think if you were to select 
that and hit GG, it would do the same thing. It's basically sliding the vertices down the edges or up the edges. So that would work too. So we'll do that for the other side. So on this one, we want to grab these. So you could do that as a way to select them. Since we're in wireframe mode and we have, you know, it's defaulted X-ray mode is turned on, it will select all the way through. So since we need to slide these vertices beyond the uh, shape, GG won't work. I think there's a way to do it, but I don't remember what the hotkey is. So, so GG would work this way, but not this way. See how it kind of stops. But so we'll go back to our normal and then we'll grab that and just move it up a little bit. So that's one way to go. And if we want to get even fancier, here's another trick we can do. I'm just going to keep hitting L. L will select everything that the cursor is touching. Um, if you left click, it deselects everything. If I hit L only one time, it would only select one of these. So I hit L again. But from the side view, if I hit L, L, you can see it get uh, brighter. That means it's selected both sides. So what we want to do is make a copy of uh, this railing. And what we're going to do is just extend this out a little bit to make it a little neater, neater at the top. So let's duplicate it. And what we're going to do is, let's go back to global. We're going to rotate it until it looks flat. And a, a trick you could do is look at it from the front. See how this doesn't look right. And we're going to do RX and just keep rotating it. Hold the shift key down to get a precise. So when that looks like it's one line, that's pretty much level. So it doesn't have to be perfect for this. So what we're going to do is we're going to scale it on Y. And then we're going to go and actually we're going to shove it right through. Like that. We have that and then we're also going to select those points. We're going to go to normal again. We're actually going to shove that right through like that. I know it looks weird, but this is kind of a, a way to get these two railing pieces to connect together. So what we're going to do is use our friend the knife tool again. We're going to hit, we don't want to do angle lock so we won't hit A. But we're going to hit C and that will allow us to cut through and I'm actually going to zoom in so we get really accurate here. So we're going to hit C. Now we're going to click here and click here and this is right where the these kind of edges come together. I'm trying to get as close as possible but it doesn't have to be perfect. So we're going to click and then we're going to hit enter. So now we have basically this on both sides. And all we need to do is look at it from the X view again. Um, we can lasso select these points, hit X, vertices. So now you're left over with this, which is what we want. And then we can actually, let's lasso select these and these. I, I got extra points there, but that's okay. So we're going to hit M, merge by distance. And if you look at the bottom, it said removed four points, which is probably not all of them. I think it should be eight points. So we're going to just grab this with the left mouse button on the mouse. And we're going to hold shift down. Can I do it first? And we're going to just slide it a little bit till it says eight, removed eight vertices. So let's hit A and hit Shift N just to recalculate the normals. And then, um, so there you go. That's what that would look like. And now we can get a little more um, fancy again. Let's go to, what do we want to do? Um, 
face select. Just select those two faces. Here's another tip. Uh, so we have this face and this face selected. If you want to select the rest of those parts, um, hit Control L and it will basically select everything that's connected to those faces. Um, go to the side view again. Shift D, Y, and we're just going to add a, something like this, I guess, to make it evenly spaced. And then let's go to wireframe mode. We're going to select these ends, and we're just going to slide them like that. We'll leave a little overhang, and I guess that's good. We'll just slide those up a little bit. So we can, um, what do we want to do? I guess we could grab, just to, because <laughs> I'm, I'm a perfectionist. Uh, let's go to wireframe mode. Actually, let's save it real quick. I'll just call it uh, stare toot. Here was a practice one I did a while back just in case something happens. So we want to select basically all these um, vertical uh, pieces of, you know, the vertical rails, I guess. Um, so a way to do that would be to just lasso select all of that and then hit Control L so we have everything selected. Let's go to global. Say I want to just get this piece so it's like that. Which is all right. And then we can move this one up just so it's not stuck in the ground, in the floor. All right, well, I think that does it. We have a nice little staircase. We'll get out of edit mode so it looks nicer. And uh, there you go. Thanks for watching.